gentleman who is no stranger to the SEMA reveal stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our good friend, Mr. Dave Kenday. How are you? Good evening, guys. How, are, how is everybody? Hope Vegas is treating you guys good, just like it is uh, us. Uh, Condigate Design, we have six vehicles here with some really good friends. We love the industry, and I actually want to introduce you all to a very special friend of mine. This is Wyatt. He's going to be my co-pilot this evening. Wyatt. 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 Wyatt's quite the car guy. He could tell me everything about the new Corvettes, everything about the cars that I'm building. I'm like, how do you know this much stuff? You're 12 years old. So he's been a great, great uh, part of my uh, evening, and I really appreciate you being in the passenger seat, bud. Thank you. Awesome, Wyatt. <laughs> Does he fit in a tuxedo? We might have a use for him. Perfect. <laughs> as long as he can still wear the Kandiga hat. There you go. <laughs> uh, so Dave, tell me what you brought out. This thing, it looks uh, it looks familiar, but like not like it was ever made before. Yeah, so we call this the Double Deluxe. It actually started out, it's a good friend of mine, Cecil, that's the president of the Volkswagen uh, Bus Transporter Club in uh, Salt Lake City. And he made the mistake after three years of building this in St. George, he pulled it from the uh, builder and brought it up to Salt Lake. He took it over to Justin at the upholstery shop in my building to have him look at doing the upholstery, and he made the mistake of letting me see it. Uh -huh. So I said, I think he ought to get rid of this piece of junk. Well, I made him an offer on it. His wife heard how much it was. It wasn't an enormous amount, but it was good money. And she says, new kitchen. So yeah. we just did the reveal last week. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff, I mean, this bus has got so many cool little things going on. I'm a big Volkswagen guy, if you know, if you follow where I've come from. Absolutely. So this yeah, is a... Yeah. Thank you. So 67 double cab, they only made them three door. This one's now a four door. It also has semi four turn signals. And of course it has the sliding sunroom from Grumpy's as well as the uh, porthole windows. It's on full air ride from AccuAir. Uh, it's got the 17 inch uh, uh, chrome Fook wheels. We have the Bernie Bergman fan shroud set up that looks like a Porsche 911 yeah, wow. uh, fan shroud. So 1915 cc's. Uh, it's about 140 horsepower and it just rock and rolls. It's beautiful. Well, to back up just a bit, so these were called the uh, in German the Doppelkabin, right? So the double cabin, and these were generally utilitarian work trucks, right? And you've blended it with the the high level Samba full bus, like the 23 window style. Exactly, exactly. And then you know there was a lot of things that, about the buses that are so collectible and so iconic, and, and people that really know what they're looking at on the deluxe buses and the barn doors and the earlier buses. You know, like a walkthrough, they never did that on a double cab. And so the things that Cecil had started out to really try and, you know, capture a deluxe version of a double cab, he did such a nice job, I had to have it. Well, you did a, an amazing job on making all of those attributes appear like they were born on this thing. Right. Well, that's always the idea. With, uh, when we would do some styling stuff, we want to make it look like that's the way it may have come from the factory. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the modern classic paint, uh, we have our paint line with Axel Nobel. This is actually Magic Marshmallow, which is a very vintage, almost like an, uh, an ivory yep. white. And then, of course, our uh, Manic Red, which is kind of reminiscent of something that would be on like a Duesenberg or an Auburn, something just very clean, classy, mm -hmm. a little on the orange brown side of red so it's just a very clean classic antique look well they go together perfectly especially with the trim the polished trim break uh, Lord knows there's there's probably hundreds of modifications that don't <laughs> jump right out at you which is what is so cool about your creations ladies and gentlemen Dave Kendig Thank and you the Deluxe.